And you could also go down, crisscross, go down the arms, underneath the arms, and back up them, okay? The forearms, you can just kind of rotate back and forth. Okay, with the arms too, you can incorporate just a little movement. Just bring it up here, right in the head, there you go. And just kind of stretch it out a little bit, where you're doing a little massage. Really good for the traps. You can actually go in between there too. Okay, okay. some whole limb techniques um, you can incorporate into the treatment. Um, remember, not in the kidney region, but you can just go back and forth. Of course, you can do it faster, harder, whatever they want. You can also hold your hands together. It's called quacking. You can also just hit your hand a little bit. Another one called squishies. You actually compress and it makes a little weird sound. You can use your knuckles. Just make sure your wrists are relaxed. Loose fist beating. Just make sure you're not tightening up at all. Gorilla punch. You just use your knuckles some, but remember not in the kidney region. Especially really good for the teres region. Pincement. A little bit more stimulating technique. So the thing is, if they want to just relax, try not to use this technique then. Okay, one that can really wake them up, go down here, and then you quick come off of this way, but just make sure they don't have any earrings and you don't hit them in the head then, okay? But just really fast then, the kind of technique. Cupping. This is really good for congestion if they they have any extra phlegm that they need to get up, this usually works. People um, with cystic fibrosis, this is one of the main techniques that people use on them, but it's really beneficial for them.